Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shemer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Esther chapter 14, actually the latter half of verse 14. But it says, and who knows whether you are coming to the kingdom for such a time as this. These words were given uh, from Mordecai to his cousin Esther, who had become a queen in a particular pagan kingdom, and the Lord had put her in that royal position in order to save the Jewish people from annihilation. And so this verse is very applicable to us today. Who knows whether you are coming to the kingdom for such a time as this, for such a time as this. You know what? You're alive. You exist right now. You're watching me on this video right now from wherever part of the world that you may be at. And you know what? God has called you for such a time as this. He, he, he allowed you to be born uh, in this particular day, in this particular time. You could have been born 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 1,000 years ago. You could have been born, uh, um, you know, in Russia, in Africa, in Australia, uh, in, in France, in Germany, in Spain. Uh, you could have been born any other place than, than where you were born. You could be living on any part of the planet, uh, uh, you know, instead of where you are right now. God has called you to a particular place, to a particular point in time in history to accomplish his purpose, to accomplish his will. He has gifted you and has birthed within you special gifts, talents, and abilities, and a special personality that nobody else has in order to accomplish a specific purpose and a specific task. You know, there, there's, this, there's a universal task that God has us to do. That's to glorify his name and to reach others for him. He has a specific task for each one of us to do. And I'm not the one to tell you what that is. Uh, if you don't know what that specific purpose is, then that's your purpose right now, is to find out what his call is, what his purpose is for your for your life. God has, has called you for such a time as this to impact your community on a local level, on an international level, and on a global level. And you're, you're to find out what that is if you don't know what that is. In my, in my case, I'm a husband and a father. First thing he wants me to do is to be the best husband and the best father that I can be, to reflect Messiah Yeshua in, in my marriage and in my parenthood and in my home and in my community. I'm a personal support worker, which means I go into people's houses and, and, and take care of them and help them to be as independent as possible, to keep them out of the hospital and to keep them out of the nursing home so they can live in their homes as long as possible. And so I'm to be the best personal support worker that I can be. On a local ministerial level, I'm hooked up with a, a ministry called Harvest House where I teach classes and, and, and I preach on occasions. And he's got me ministering there uh, to, to people on, on, a, on an international level, on a global level. Uh, he's got me making videos like this to, to teach and to edify and to educate people uh, and, and to bring them into the Word of God. Uh, he, he, he has me traveling all over the world to, to uh, parts of Africa and parts of Europe uh, to teach and preach his Word. And, and he's given me uh, special abilities to, to, to be a teacher. He's given me artistic and creative abilities that, that assist me in, in my uh, calling as a teacher. So you know what? Uh, you, you may think that you're a nobody. You may think that you're just wasting space and wasting air. Uh, you, you may look down on yourself and you may think that, you know, uh, how can God use me? But you know what? Uh, he, God doesn't make junk. God doesn't make mistakes. He's made you and called you and placed you at this particular place point in time in history for his work, his will, and his way. And it's your job to find out what that is. And if you know what that is, great. Get off your butt and do it. Uh, don't procrastinate. Do it. And you know what? Even if it's something as simple as as, as being the best uh, husband, wife, father, son, uh, you know, the best person that you can be uh, where you're at in your neighborhood. Uh, he, he wants to use you every single day uh, to uplift and encourage and to edify people and to minister to people that he brings across your path uh, in the community and in the workplace or or, or you know, at, at your place of uh, education, whatever the case may be. So you are special. You are called uh, for a purpose. You are called for uh, uh, um, for such a time as this. And uh, you know, just just be glad in that fact that you are special and you have a calling and you have a purpose. And find out what that, what that is. And if you know what that is, go and do it. Praise and glory and honor be to God. Thanks for watching. Shalom and Shavuot Tov.